Welcome to the Tennis Confidence Video Show by Dr. Patrick Cohn, your mental game of tennis expert. Discover the secrets to superior tennis confidence. Visit SportsPsychologyTennis.com. Hi, this is Dr. Patrick Cohn with SportsPsychologyTennis.com, and you're watching the Tennis Confidence Video Show, video show number five. In my last show, I discussed one reason why players underperform when they go from practice to competition, and that is lack of self-confidence. In today's show, I want to talk about the fifth reason why players underperform when they go from practice to competition, and that is trying to be too perfect. We also call that perfectionism. Now, for some reason, I work with a lot of perfectionists. They either need my help or they're drawn into their sport because they like the structure in their sport. Whatever the case may be, there's some advantages and some disadvantages of being a perfectionist or trying to be perfect with your game. Now, let's talk about the good stuff. The good stuff is you're probably highly motivated, you have high goals, you won't accept mediocrity, and you're going to do whatever it takes to improve your game and get better. All right, that's the good stuff, and it all helps in that practice mode when you're practicing and your work ethic. Now, let's talk about the other stuff. The problem with perfectionists is they have extremely high expectations, low self-confidence, lack of trust in their ability, and they get frustrated very easily, just to mention a few things. And it does start with those very, very high expectations. If you set the bar very hard for yourself, and can never perform up to those expectations, then it's very easy to become frustrated and or lose your confidence very quickly. So there's some real disadvantages from perfectionists when they go from practice to competition because of those high expectations becoming easily frustrated. And the other thing is they try to be too perfect on the court with their strokes. They try to hit perfect strokes they try to work on technique, and they forget about playing the game and the strategy involved in the game. Okay, so what's the solution? If you're in that mold of trying to be perfect when you go to matches, what's the solution? Okay, tip number one, if you're a perfectionist or you try to be too perfect on the court, that is you have to manage your expectations before you even walk out on the court. What do I mean by that? I don't want you to go out there and expect to hit perfect shots, expect to make no errors, expect to not double fault, for example, and expect to win 6-1, 6-1. That puts too much pressure on yourself and too much demand on yourself. So you have to manage those expectations by acknowledging them and saying, I'm going to throw those expectations away. They don't help me perform my best. And instead of having expectations, I want you to focus on simple what I call process goals or objectives that you can do during the match, such as maybe I just want to have good balance on my setup. Something that simple, not really technical. That helps you focus on the process. In addition, here's another tip if you're a perfectionist when you go out and play on the court. Don't make it a goal or an expectation to hit perfect shots. For perfectionists, they often, it has to feel right, the motion has to feel right for them, the ball flight has to be just right, and the targeting or the result has to be just right. That's what I call the triple whammy. When one of those things is askew, perfectionists have trouble with those. So don't make it a goal to be perfect. Instead, what I want you to do is I want you to play functional tennis. I talk about this quite a bit in my work. Functional tennis means don't worry about how you're getting the job done. Instead, just focus on targets, hitting targets. And if it didn't feel right, it didn't feel perfect, that's okay, blow it off. You're allowed to make mistakes. Give yourself the luxury of three or four mistakes or errors during the match. In that case, you'll be able to play on easier when you do make those mistakes, okay? Try those three tips, and I'm sure you'll perform better in that match situation because of that perfectionism. Thanks for watching the Tennis Confidence Video Show. I'll see you in the next series. We'll see you later.
Improve your mental game quickly by visiting sportspsychologytennis.com today and claim a free tennis psychology report titled Six Unforced Mental Game Errors Tennis Players Make Between Points.